Quote, if slavery is not wrong, nothing is wrong. End quote. Abraham Lincoln. The African slave trade from the Windward Coast. In the 18th century, natives from coastal Southwest Africa were specifically targeted by slave ship owners for their valuable agricultural skills. Yale EDU. White plantation owners purchased slaves from various parts of Africa, but they greatly preferred slaves from what they called the Rice Coast or Windward Coast, the traditional rice growing region of West Africa. Continuing, plantation owners were willing to pay higher prices for Africans from the Rice Coast. They were the largest group of slaves imported into South Carolina and Georgia. The Gullah Geechee were direct descendants of these slaves. They spread across the coastal southern states from the tip of North Carolina to Northeast Florida. South Carolina Sea Isles near Beaufort has the highest concentration of Gullah Geechee speakers. Remnants of the Gullah language can still be heard on some of the more isolated communities on the South Carolina coast. Yale EDU, the Gullah people are directly descended from the slaves who labored on the rice plantations. When Lincoln freed the slaves in these regions, they were given plots of land for farming and to raise livestock. Of course, the Gullah Geechee boast a very famous black American within their ranks. Justice Clarence Thomas was born in Pinpoint, Georgia. His mother was pure Gullah Geechee and was an owner of one of the original plots of lands deeded to the descendants of slaves. Justice Thomas spoke only Gullah Geechee dialect for the first six years of his life. The strange case of Albert Perry and the AOO haplotype. In 2012, a South Carolina man was discovered to have mysterious archaic hominid DNA. An African-American genealogist had submitted a dozen samples of Y-chromosome DNA for testing. One sample was from a deceased grandson of a famous South Carolina slave named Albert Perry. That sample came back undetermined. They assigned the sequence to the new haplotype AOO. Albert Perry, AOO haplotype, discovered in a tiny village in Cameroon. Arizona State University genetics professor Michael Hammer was alerted to the abnormal test results. His team searched the newly available genomic database and came up with a shocking result. Hammer's team traced the DNA sequence back to a small village in western Cameroon. An on-site team was quickly set up in the village. The team took swab samples from 180 villagers. Eleven of the men of Embo tested positive as AOO. And some of the men showed striking archaic facial morphology, including sloping forehead, prognathism, and thick eyebrow ridges. In 2013, Dr. Hammer delivered a speech to CARTA at the University of California, San Diego, interbreeding with archaic humans in Africa. Quote, we discovered a very ancient and rare Y chromosome. Well, this particular lineage was discovered in an African-American man from South Carolina who submitted his DNA was very unusual, did not fit on the tree, end quote. Quote, and when we dated it, it was found that the most recent common ancestor was at over 300,000 years ago, end quote. Continuing, quote, interestingly, when we did extensive Y chromosome searches in the database, we were fortunate. In Africa, there were 11 that seemed to be related to this chromosome, end quote. 
Continuing, quote, it turns out all 11 come from this tiny region of Western Cameroon from a farming group called the Embo, end quote. Dr. Hammer delivered his remarks at UCSD in 2013. Years later, additional studies would be published that would vindicate his hypothesis. Deseret News, September 2020. A recent study done by UCLA researchers Arundur Rasula and Sriram Sakararaman revealed that the gene pool of many modern West Africans point to a common extinct ghost ancestor. The pair of researchers from UCLA discovered that up to 19% of the DNA in modern Africans comes from archaic hominid species. Study. Anatomically, modern humans appear in the fossil record around 200,000 years ago. Fossils with a combination of archaic and modern features can be found across sub-Saharan Africa and the Middle East until as recently as 35,000 years ago. Examples of these fossils include a cranium from Iwo Eluru that have been interpreted as being consistent with deep structure of interaction between modern and archaic hominids in Africa. Tishkoff Akei, 2017. Advances in the sequencing of the genomes of both modern and ancient peoples have facilitated a number of breakthroughs. These include the discovery of interbreeding between anatomically modern humans and extinct hominids. From CNN, Mysterious Ghost Populations 2019, quote, I think at one time there'd have been all sorts of populations with genetic differences enough to look a bit differently, end quote. Joel Irish, professor of archeology, span Liverpool University. Many of the Gullah Geechee tribal members have exceptionally unique facial morphology. These facial morphological features seem to match those of modern archaic humans from Cameroon. Iwo Eluru Man In 1964, two human skulls were discovered by British explorers in a cave nearby in Nigeria. Chris Stringer has been studying the two Iwo Eluru skulls since 1974. In 2011, Stringer Harvati released a paper on the preliminary results of the new morphometric studies of Iwo Eluru. Based on stratigraphy and radiocarbon analysis, they dated the skulls to 11,000 to 13,000 years ago. They conclude the transition to anatomical modernity in Africa was more complicated than previously thought, with late survival of archaic features and possibly deep population substructure in Africa during this time. From NewScientist.com 2013, in 2011 researchers examined human fossils from a Nigerian site called Iwo Eluru. The fossils showed a strange mix of ancient and modern features, which also suggested interbreeding between modern and archaic humans. Continuing, quote, the Cameroon village with an unusual genetic signature is right on the border with Nigeria and Iwo Eluru is not too far away, end quote, says Michael Hammer. Deep ancestral lineage from archaic modern humans in Cameroon. Stretching all the way to the Sea Isles of Southern States, America. Thank you for watching. We still have more to come on this topic, including whatever happened to Michael Hammer. Stay tuned.